economy collapses and everything goes to heck and you've got to hit the hills, are you ready? Let's do this. Welcome to Rich Life. I'm Tim and today we are talking about being ready. Are you ready when the economy collapses? We just heard our president say we're this close to Armageddon. The closest we've been to Armageddon since uh, the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know if we're that close or not, but you got to be ready. If the economy collapses, uh, the anarchy takes place, and we've got to hit the hills to take care of ourselves and our family. And I'm going to tell you today five things I believe you must have to survive the get up and go. The number one thing, the first thing you're going to need is shelter. Where are you going to go? Do you have a plan to get there? Is it uh, in your backyard? Is it on your property? Is it in the mountains in a remote cabin that's off grid that has no utilities? You need to know where you're going to go. The human body can only survive three hours out in the elements. You'll freeze. You'll get, die of hypothermia. You need three hours, guys. You need shelter. It's the number one thing. Whether you're going to have a tent, you're going to have a uh, one of those hammock tents that you can put up between trees, or you, you're going to build you a cap. What are you going to do? You need to have that plan. Make sure you know how to get there, and you can get there in a hurry and in a pinch. The second thing you're going to need is a water source, hopefully a clean water source. If you got a spring-fed pond, a spring-fed river, or guys, just a spring coming up out of the water, wherever you're bugging out, you got to have water. That's the second thing you're going to have to have. Now, if you, um, if you have to, you can boil the water. Um, water that's been sitting in a pond or a pool can, can have all kinds of uh, microbes and things that are going to make your stomach upset and going to hurt you in the long run. So guys, you may need to boil your water. Buying a filtration system may be the thing you need to do. There's all kinds of them on Amazon and, and good uh, survival websites. Um, you pour the water in and fresh, clean water comes out. There's even straws where you can just suck right out of the pond or creek, drink that water, and it filters it and makes it good to drink. But guys, water, you can only go three days without water. Three days, you need water. The third thing you're going to need is food, sustenance. How are you going to survive? You've got your shelter. You've got your water. You're going to need something to eat. Now, Patriot Supply has awesome three-month and four-month freeze-dried goods. They're good for 25 years. Keep them in your cabin. Keep them in your, your goat. You know, wherever you're going to be bugging out to, that's a great thing to get you established, right? To keep you going until you can maybe take some chickens with you. Maybe you have your meat rabbits. You've got bees for honey. You can transport all those things at a separate time. Establish your place, get your water, but think about your food. Short term, freeze dried. Long term, meat rabbits, guys. Meat rabbits, you can have 300 pounds of meat from one breeder doe. Get you a buck and two does, you'll have 600 pounds of meat a year. They, they reproduce like rabbits. That's why they call them that. Eggs from your chickens. They will give you eggs every single day. Okay, so just take a couple hens and a rooster, take a couple rabbits and a, and a, a buck rabbit, two does, and you've got eggs and meat to last you a very, very long time. Don't forget your seeds, guys. You need to have a package of seeds. You're going to get out to your place. You're going to be, who knows how long you're going to be there. You may be there for a month. You may be there for a year. Have seeds have meat sources and have freeze-dried goods, Patriot Supply is a good, good source for those. The fourth item, guys, the fourth thing you're going to need is protection. And you're going to need that protection not only to provide protection for your family, to also provide that sustenance of number three. Firearms. You're going to need firearms. Firearms are going to help you uh, get meat initially, if you don't have your meat rabbits or chickens set up and you know, you've got your freeze dried foods, but firearms are going to help you get squirrels and rabbits out in the wild. A deer going to take care of your family. You're going to get your meat, but also people are going to want what you've got there. If they know where you're at, if you've told anybody where you're going and it gets as bad as it can get, they're going to want what you have. And the only way you're going to prevent that, is with firearms. Now I recommend a good 22 caliber pistol or rifle. 
And you're like, Tim, that, the caliber is way too small. You can't kill anything with the 22. Guys, there have been more deer probably killed with 22 illegally, of course, than any other caliber. Maybe the 3030. But 22 caliber is lightweight ammo. You can get a bucket of ammo, 500, 1,000 rounds, a brick of 22 long rifle. Take it out, bug out with you. Try doing with that with the 30 out six. Try carrying a thousand rounds of 30 out six or even 223 out in the bug out with you. Okay, bucket a 22 long rifle, and it's gonna it's gonna take care of your rabbits, your squirrels. And I'm telling you, someone comes to get what you got, and you lay down 22 long rifle on them. It's gonna be a bad day for them. 22 long rifle can go over a mile. There's a, it's, it's, it's lightweight lead and it has the velocity to go very, very far. So people say it's not a very good caliber for self-protection, but when the bug out happens, I'm telling you, 22 long rifle is amazing. Now guys, if you got the means and you can carry more, sure, bring a 12 gauge shotgun. Oh my gosh, you can take care of a lot more squirrel and dove and rabbits with a 12 gauge shotgun. Great, but look how large the shells are. And if you can, if you can bring a 223, an AR-15, oh my gosh, uh, you can hunt with it. Self-protection to the max, right? It's a semi-automatic rifle. Um, so, but 22 long rifle, I recommend. Then a 12 gauge, then a 223 if, if you can carry more. And of course, a handgun, a nine millimeter, 40 caliber, awesome addition to that arsenal. And 22 uh, MMP 22 uh, pistol, sidearm, some automatic is what I carry also out in the woods a lot. It's, it's lightweight and it does the job. So firearms, you're gonna need that to protect your family and to provide sustenance. I guarantee it, the fourth thing you will need. Number five, the fifth thing you're gonna need to survive a bug out situation is power. You're like Tim. We're going off grid, we're bugging out. Why do we need power? We don't need that, we rough it, we can camp, we can. Guys, we're talking about not an overnight, you know, Cub Scout camping trip, you know, Girl Scout selling brownies. Guys, this may get bad. So you may be talking long term being out there and power is important. We live in a digital age, guys. We need, we need to know what's going on out there. We can seclude ourselves to protect ourselves but we need to know what's going on out there. And having power is gonna be able to do that. Most modern cell phones, battery will last mm, two, three days, right? Especially if you've been using it, you know, GPS, try to get your location or bug out location, because who reads maps nowadays? And if you have any laminated maps, that's the only ones that are gonna stay together when they get wet, right? They're, the paper ones are just gonna fall apart. And who reads paper maps nowadays, right? So you're gonna need power. Now you can bring a 9,000 watt gas generator gonna be a little heavy it's gonna be loud too people are gonna hear you they're gonna know your location well go solar then big batteries big portable power generating station you know maybe two three thousand watt that should do me right and lithium batteries they weigh about 70 pounds of those big 2,000 watt power stations solar panels are big for those you know to keep them charged up I'm thinking something smaller you're you, you got the right idea though I'm thinking something smaller Blue Eddy has come out with the new EB3A portable power station. Guys, mix that with their little 120 watt solar panel portable, folds up all nice and small, and you got a bug out power station. Let's go take a look at it. Introducing the Blue Eddy EB3A portable power station. Guys, this is the fastest charging, most powerful, lightweight portable power station you're going to find when you need to bug out. You can get this in multiple voltages. We got it in 120 for the US and ours is a standard gray. Opening up, let's see what is in the box with our EB3A. Comes very, very nicely packaged. Tight, tight, tight so you don't break any electronics. Here is our manual for our Blue Eddy EB3A. Nice packaging, simple. All right, we got a handle. We're just gonna lift this out. Move this out of the side. There's our EB3. Look at that, guys. High tech. Beautiful. Okay, we've got that right there. Let's see what else is in the bag. We do have our charging cable. This is our solar charging cable. Now, I believe in, the, uh, in some of the newer packaging for the EB3A, you do not get uh, the solar charging cable included, but I did in my package. And then, of course, we've got a power cable. You're going to notice one thing different, guys. With this power cable, there's no power block. There's no brick. 
A lot of times when you get a portable power station like this, it comes with those charging bricks that the power cable plugs into, and then you got a, another plug, and you got to carry that around. Oh no, where's the brick? You just need a standard. You can get these at any PC monitor. So if you lose this, these work for everything. You don't need a power brick, power block. That is awesome. And guys, that is all that comes in the box. Again, this unit is very, very light, just over 10 pounds. Uh, looking on the top, we can see we've got a 15 watt wireless charging output port. You just set your phone up there and it will charge without having to connect wires to it. Nice carry handle. Looking at the front, we've got this awesome LCD display. Now, Blue Eddy has upgraded this LCD display and functions on the EB3A. If you've got one of their other smaller models, you're going to notice a huge difference in this LCD display. Uh, we've got a DC output port right here. This is like where your car charger goes in, and Blue Eddy does offer an accessory for that. did not come with this package. Now, you've got a um, DC 5521 um, output port here. Uh, that's a 12 volts DC, 10 amp output uh, DC. You've got a USB-A, 5 volts, 3 amp. You've got a couple of those standard USB um, outputs. And then, of course, you've got a USB-C, 100 watt as well. So all these outputs right here, very, very nice DC. Here's your DC output power button. So you push this button, and that will turn on and off the DC outputs. Right down here for the AC side, we've got our uh, solar input. Now that, that's not AC, that is uh, 12 to 28 volts DC at 5 amps, and this is where your solar panel will plug into. Um, but then you've got your 120 volt AC 9 amp max input, and this is where you're going to plug in that, that standard AC cable. No power brick needed. Again, no power brick needed. Then you've got a little circuit breaker here, that's 125 volt AC 10 amp circuit breaker. Over here to our AC output. Here's the AC output uh, button, and you've got two uh, 600 watt AC output. That's your standard uh, US uh, 60 hertz AC output. And again, total 600 watt. And uh, up here we have our main power button and we also have this awesome LED light. I mean, when you're bugging out, again, this thing is doing it for us. And then we'll go over the features when we power it up here in just a second. And guys, don't forget, this thing has Bluetooth capability. Another area that EB3A stands out from its competitors is charging capability. With the AC input cable on turbo mode, you can charge your EB3A up to 80% power in 30 minutes. Guys, this is a 600 watt unit, sustained unit, 600 watt. That's pretty awesome to, to get to 80% in 30 minutes. You can also, of course, use your solar input. Now, this is a Blue Eddy 120. They've got Blue Eddy 200s, uh, 200 watt, and it will charge fully at those rates as well. Uh, you can also hook a gener gas generator up to it and then run this at nighttime instead of having your generator be so loud at night. Um, so many capabilities. Of course, this thing can charge and discharge at the same time. So, yes, this is a 600 watt portable generator. You keep your solar panel plugged into it. Oh my goodness, at 120 watts, this thing is going to continuously sustain that charge. So as long as you're drawing uh, 120 watts or less, this thing will stay fully charged. Pretty amazing. Now, most little air conditioners and stuff, you know, they come on, they go off, they come on, they go off. Not going to be a problem. Check out this awesome emergency safety feature. We've got our EB3A plugged into our uh, 120 watt solar panel. Uh, we are 100% charged. We push the power button here for our light. The LED light comes on very, very bright. Hit it again, comes on even brighter. Now check this out one more time. What is that doing? Giving a continuous SOS signal. We've got it fully charged in the daytime, giving out an SOS signal. The power go or the, the sun goes down at nighttime, this thing's fully charged, generating a bright SOS signal for your rescuers to find you. It's if you want to be found. Hope you enjoyed today's video and it's given you something to think about. You know that impending Armageddon we're told is coming. Well, I don't know how impending it is, but uh, you got to be prepared. I do believe in being prepared. And some of the things we talked about today, I know we'll get you there. If you're interested in that EB3A from Luetti, man, fast charging, long lasting, light, put it in your go bag and go. I think it's the way to go. Add that little 120, uh, PV120 solar panel, folds up, boom. Man, that's, that's the way to go. I, I think that really helped. My Patriot uh, Supply for your freeze dried foods. Again, I'm not affiliated with them. And the, the water straw for fil filtering your water, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not paid for any of these products I'm endorsing today. 
I just think they're good products that you can uh, really use to keep you and your family safe. So uh, if you're interested in the EB3A, I'll have a link in the description down below. Uh, be sure to click on that and uh, see what, what uh, uh, Blue Eddy has to offer you. I, I, I do think you'd uh, like their product, that's for sure. If you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life, guys, why are you waiting for? It's free. Take the time. Do it. Boom. Click that button and hit that little notification bell to be notified anytime a new video is out on Ridge Life. And guys, as always, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Stay safe and go Ridge Life. Mm -hmm.